Valorant Champions Tour is in its last stage, and you may ask yourself, how will my favorite team make it to Masters 3 Berlin, or even the biggest event, Champions? Let's talk about Southeast Asia, where we have six markets, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Malaysia, Singapore. Each market has their own VCD challengers, which determines who plays in the VCD Southeast Asia challengers playoffs. In stage three, the tournament format will be split into two, the group stages and then the playoff brackets. In the group stages, no two teams from the same market will be in the same group. That means all seeded teams from your market can all be in the playoffs. Each group will have teams playing a single round robin. The top two teams per group will advance to the playoffs based on a set scoring system. Then the playoffs will have a double elimination format. Now, who gets to fly out to Berlin? That would be the two teams that make it to the finals of this event. Yes, unlike Masters 2 Reykjavik with only one slot, Southeast Asia is now given two slots. That's two teams to represent the region in Masters 3. But what about Champions, the Worlds, TI, the culminating event of Valorant Champions Tour? Well, other than winning Masters 3, teams will be picked per region based on circuit points. What is circuit points? Well, there are events during this VCT that gave out points based on your final standings in those events. For VCT Southeast Asia, teams gain circuit points from the VCTC playoffs and masters. If we look at the C circuit point leaderboard found on Liquipedia, X10 Esports and FullSense are top two teams. And if things stay that way, they'll be representing Southeast Asia for champions. What about third and fourth place? Well, they still have a chance to make it to champions through the Asia Last Chance Qualifiers, where they'll face teams from Japan, Korea, and Valorant Conquerors, where there can only be one team that makes it out. Here are the circuit points that will be awarded for the Stage 3 VST Southeast Asia Playoffs. The highest points that teams can receive is 80 points for placing third. Why are these numbers so important? With 80 circuit points being the highest possible points gained, if teams want to secure that slot in Champions, they need to make it to Masters 3 Berlin, where the minimum amount of circuit points for 13th and 16th place is 175 points. If any team ranking 5th or below makes it to Masters 3, they jump straight to 2nd place in circuit points, even if you add the 80 points to any of the top 4 teams except X10. This is why Stage 3 is super important. Not just to get a taste of LAN in Berlin, but also to participate in the bigger cake, Champions. But we never know if Riot chooses to change up the rules or format with regards to circuit points and last chance qualifiers. So if you want to be updated, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or our other socials as well, our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time.